Hello everybody, this is Dare here. Hope you are well. Today we are going straight to discuss Fibonacci retracement. Firstly, we will introduce what Fibonacci retracement is. We'll talk about the sequence and ratios. There are alert zones which you need to watch out for. We'll talk about the common retracements. We have the shallow, moderate, and golden retracements. And we will bring our discussion to conclusion. And after that, I will take you straight into a live chat and show you how we can demonstrate and use the Fibonacci tool. Okay, so let's get on with it. Fibonacci retracement is a very popular tool among technical traders and is based on the key numbers identified by mathematician Leonardo, Leonardo Fibonacci in the 13th century. So here is Leonardo Fibonacci is a mathematician and he is an intelligent person, very, very intelligent. However, Fibonacci sequence of numbers is not as important as a mathematical relationship expressed as ratios between the numbers in the series, as you will soon discover. It. The sequence and ratios. The Fibonacci sequence of numbers is as follows. We have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Each term in this sequence is simply the sum of the two preceding terms. So each term is the sum of the two preceding terms. So 0 plus 1 gives you 1. 1 plus 1 gives you 2. 1 plus 2 gives you 3. 2 plus 3 gives you 5. 3 plus 5 gives you 8. You got the idea. That is how these numbers were generated and this sequ sequence continue indefinitely, infinitely. Okay? One of the remarkable characteristics of this numerical sequence is that each number is approximately 1.618 greater than the preceding number. So each number is 1.18 greater than the preceding number. So if you divide 3 by 2, you will get 1.618. Divide 5 by 3, you get the same thing. Divide 89 by 55, you get the same 1.618. This common relationship between every number in this series is the foundation of the common ratios used in retracement studies. Okay? Fibonacci retracements are ratio used to identify potential reversal levels. The key Fibonacci ratios of 61.8 as we have said, we call it the golden ratio, which is found by dividing one number in the series by the number that follows it. So this 0 0.618 is discovered by dividing one number in the series by the number that follows it. So divide 2 by 3, 5 by 8, 13 by 21, 21 by 34, you will get 0 0.6153 or round about that number. Now, for the 38.2 ratio, we found that by dividing one number in the series by the number that is found two places to the right. So to get 38.2, we divide a number by Two numbers to the right. So 3 divided by 8 will give you 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.382. Okay? 
uh, 55 divided by 89, 55 divided by 144 will give you that. Uh, 2 divided by 5, 8 divided by 21 will give you 0 0.318. How do we find the 23.6 ratio? It is found by dividing one number in the series by the number that is three places to the right. Three places to the right. So 3 divided by 13 will give you 0 0.2352. 13 divided by 55 will give you the same thing. Uh, 8 divided by 34. Just take three numbers to the right and divide it by that number. You will get 0 0.2352. For some reasons, however, this ratio seems to play an important role in the financial market just as they do in nature and can be used to determine critical points that caused an asset to reverse. So now let's talk about the alert zones. Retracement level alerts traders or investors of a potential trend reversal. Resistance area or support areas. Retracement are based on the prior move. So this is an example of, a, of an upward move. So we started from here and we advanced up to here where the advance stopped. And then we put our retracement tool over this range. And this is a decline. And see where the decline bounced off, bounced off our 50% retracement level. So here at the retracement level, you have the first retracement level, which is 23.6. The next retracement level is 38.2, followed by 50 and 61.8. Okay. So what are the common before we look at the common retracement, this is um, an example of a decline. We show you the advancement in price, but this is an example of a decline in price. So prices hit the top and decline down. So you put your Fibonacci tool here to see where you are going to get a reversal. Okay, where did we get a reversal on this occasion at 50% level? So this is the corrective advance and then we get our top at 50% level and we expect the price to continue in the original direction. Common retracement. The common retracement levels are 23.6, 32.8, 50% and 61.8%. We group this into three categories we have shallow retracement moderate retra uh, retracement and golden retracement okay the 23.6 the 38.2 and the 61.8 come from ratio found within the fibonacci as you have seen how we get this numbers 23.6 this number 38.2 and 61.8 the 50 percent retracement however is not based on a fibonacci number see when we discuss fibonacci we haven't talked about 50 percent anywhere so where does it come from this number comes from dow's theory that the averages often retrace half of their prior move. So when there's a move on a Dow, Dow Jones or any asset, they usually retrace half of, their, of that move back. Hence, we have 50%. So now let's talk about shallow retracement. We can consider a 23.6% retracement 
to be relatively shallow. You see, this is an advance in price from here, and we got up to this high, high point here, and we have a reversal. Where does the reversal stop? At 23.6 level. Yeah, this is the retracement here at 26, 23.6 level. So this is a shallow retracement. Such retracement will be appropriate short pullbacks. Shallow retracements occur, but catching this requires a closer watch and a quicker trigger finger. Moderate replacement retracement. So retracement in the 38.2 to 50% range will be considered moderate. Okay. So you can see from this example, we have also a price move from here up to here, up to the high point here. And we had a retracement of what? 50%. And we said between 38 and 50%, we call it moderate re retracement. So we term this as a moderate retracement. And then the price continues in advance. Golden retracement. The key Fibonacci ratio of 61.8, we have discussed it already. We call it golden because it is found by dividing one number in the series by the number that follows it. Okay? So we have price that declined from here, down here, and we put our Fibo tools. And where does the retracement stop? At exactly at 61.8 level and this is the gold we call this the golden level and then prices continues so to conclude today Fibonacci retracements are often used to identify the end of a correction or a counter trend move correction and counter trend bounces often retraces a portion of the prior move. Well, why the short 23.6 retracements do occur, the 38.2 to 61.8 covers the more possibilities. So even though we can see 23.6 sometimes, the most of the retracement will happen within this range. Remember, we have the 50% as well included in this range. Other technical signals are needed to confirm a reversal. The reversal can be confirmed with candlesticks, momentum indicators, volume, or a chart pattern. In fact, the more confirming factors, the more robust the signal. So that brings us to the conclusion of this discussion. I will now take you straight to the live chat and show you examples of how to use these uh, Fibonacci tools. Okay, so this is our chat here. Uh, let's pick up the Fibo tools here. Draw Fibonacci tool. Uh, let's try this first one. We have a price here. So we have an advancement in price that started and end here. So we have a price that moved from here up. Where did we see our FIBO level bounce? So it bounced off at FIBO level of 50 here. Okay. This is a moderate retracement. Okay. Let's do the next one. Let's pick up our tool again. Price starts from the top here and it went down here. So let's draw our Fibonacci. So we draw our Fibonacci here, price stop here. All right. Where do we reverse from? Fibo level of 61.8. This is the golden level as we discussed. So we have a decline in price. We rally up to the 61.8 level and then 
prices went down again. So I could show you another one here. Let's put our FIBO level here. Uh, this is uh, British Pound, uh, Swiss France daily chart. Prices advance up here. Uh, we see prices bounce off the 36, 38.2% level. So guys, this is how it works. It's very simple to apply Fibonacci tool onto your chart and you can use it in your trading. So one more thing is that I have received requests from my fans and uh, people that love my videos to start a training program. You know, I want to find out what you think. First of all, is that a good idea? Will you be interested at all? So what type of training will you like? Will you prefer this type of videos or you prefer the online kind of training? Or you want us to do a live trading sessions? Whatever your preference is. Kindly put a comment for me so it will let me know if it is something that majority or many people wanted and I can go out of my way to produce such content for you. So guys, thank you once again. Uh, you've been great and I've received numerous great comments. So thank you so much because your comments keep this channel going and some of you have actually contributed to the uh, channel one way or the other. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Till the next video, it's Dari.